Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of volume, specifically how we can calculate the volume of pyramids, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So there are different types of pyramids and they change based on uh, what the shape of their base happens to be. So this is a square based pyramid. We will also look at a triangular based pyramid, but the square based pyramid will kind of serve because it's going to act pretty similar to a rectangular based pyramid. So if we wanted to find the volume, that is the amount of anything, water, sand, air, whatever, that we can put inside the shape, we need our formula. And it's pretty straightforward. Think of a rectangular prism. So the volume of any rectangular prism is base times height. This obviously is not a rectangular prism. Just realize it takes three pyramids to completely fill up a rectangular prism that has the same base and the same height. And so that means our volume is going to be one third of our base times height. It's a little bit strange, but that's just how it works. So it's one third. So when you are looking at a pyramid, you need to figure out two things. Number one, how can you figure out the base? Well, this is a square. So all we need is one particular uh, side length. So let's just say the side length happens to be nine meters. So we don't need any other side length. We can quickly calculate that uh, that's nine meters, that's nine meters. So our base is going to be 81 meters squared. The only other thing we need is our height. Now our height is never going to be one of these slanted lines. It is going to show up as a, and I'm going to draw it for you here, like a dotted line comes down from the vertex and it kind of hits the middle of that base and they usually give you a little bit of a, of a right angle symbol right there. So that lets you know it's an imaginary line. It is the height from the middle of the base up to that very point and let's say that is 12 meters. Well now we can calculate it. So we are going to say volume equals one-third times our base which we calculated as 81 meters squared and times our nine meters. So I'm just going to, I'm gonna use the commutative property here and I'm just gonna flip these two. I wanna go ahead and do one third times nine. I'm gonna use the associative property after I use the commutative property because I wanna get those two together. That's gonna to make my, my life a little bit easier. One third times nine. So that is going to equal nine over three, which just equals three. All right, so those two are going to Kind of reduce down to three and that is three meters and let's go ahead and bring back in my 81 meters squared and now that's a pretty simple problem three times 81 and we can just kind of do that without even lining it up that is going to be 243 now we are dealing with cubic meters or meters with a little three because we multiplied uh, three different meters, this nine meters, this nine meters, and this 12 meters. So there's three meters, and that is how we find the volume of a square-based pyramid. Let's look at a triangular-based pyramid. So we have a triangular-based pyramid here. They look a little bit strange because our base here is our triangle, definitely not the shape of the pyramids we think of at Giza in Egypt, but it's going to be the same formula. Volume equals one-third base times height. The biggest thing is we need to figure out how to find the base. So the base is a triangle. So remember, our triangle is going to be, so the area of a triangle is going to be one-half base times height. Now, it's a different height. So this triangle right here, we've got this base. So that's six. So we've got that as right there. So it's going to equal one-half times six feet and it's got its own little height right here because it's not a right triangle that's three feet so that is going to equal that's one-half times six that just makes three times three so it's going to make nine feet squared so we've got volume equals one-third our base is nine square feet then we have a height right here of six feet. And we kind of put all that together. That makes three. So volume is going to make 18 cubic feet.